guys, this is Scott Williams from Brushy Creek Marine, and today we're bringing you some more Lorax ghost tips and tricks. Uh, we are going to be replacing the main headboard for your Lorax ghost. Hey guys, the tools that we're going to be using today is a Torque T10 and a T15, a 530 second Allen wrench, and a pair of dikes. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have to take the bezel off and this top cover off. So we're going to take our T10 and there's two screws right here by the wire loom. These are machine threaded screws so we need to set those separately. then we are going to slide the bezel off. Next step is we've got 16 screws all the way around this thing and we're gonna start off taking them one by one off. Now we're gonna pull this top cover off and if this gasket does not stay in this top section, you'll have to pull it off of here and we're gonna take this and we're gonna set it to the side. Now that we got the top cover off, you'll be able to see the main board and this will be your GPS board on here. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take these screws out of here and this will be a T10 as well. Now keep in mind that all these screws are different as well, so we're going to stick them in a... This particular screw is a machine head screw. So keep in mind where that machine head screw goes and then we're going to pull... Now, sometimes this board gets a little stuck on here. So slowly but surely pry this board up. Make sure you don't over pull your wires here. And we're gonna start by pulling these off one at a time. On these, I've got a little clip on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and come back to this back section here. This has got a little clip on the bottom too, and these are just stick your, stick your fingernails in there and pull them out. And then these guys got a clip on the bottom and these, this one you're gonna squeeze it and pull at the same time. Now we've got our main power going to the board. We are gonna pull that off. The biggest thing about this board is something we always do in our shop is we make sure we got a towel to put these boards on. Next thing we're going to do is pull this pad off. Once we got that top layer off, we're gonna get our new pad, take that guy off, leave the plastic on it and we are going to stick it back in place. Push it down, smooth it out. This is your barrier between your board here. And then pull that up and grab that corner. I just use my fingernails. And there you go. Now we're gonna get our new board that we've got here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start right here. We're gonna make sure we plug that in. It's pretty self-explanatory. You've got a couple of uh, ridges here and it's flat. We're gonna plug that right back into place. All of these are sized correctly so you can't get them wrong here. This is the bigger one. Push it back in. Push that one back in. Now you got two more here. This is your long one, and this is your short one. Do not get in a hurry about plugging these guys, uh, these back in guys. Sometimes they get a little squirrely. Now, before I stick the big one on, I like to stick the little ones on. This is, so we're gonna plug in 
that one and that actually runs your sensor and we're going to plug this one in for your GPS board. And next, this guy right back here. Now that we've got that in place, we're gonna slowly but surely push on these wires just ever so lightly and make sure this sits back in place. Now we're gonna go back to our bolts here. And I'm the first one that I always grab is the one that's machine thread and we're gonna put it right back here in the metal. Push your board down. Do not force this board down with the screw and snug that back into place. Now that new sticker, you're gonna to have to shove this screw back through that new sticker and then tighten it back down. Same way with this corner right here. And we've got two more right here in the back. Just snug them. Do not over tighten or you could crack the board. Then we're going to take our cover. I like to pull this out of here. I like to go ahead and put this back on. Make sure it sits and it's seated all the way around. Put our top cover back on. And then put your 16 screws back in the top. If you ever need any advice, uh, you're more than welcome to call us at 325-269-1882. Uh, we work on quite a few of these. Uh, we've been around the block with them. We'd be happy to visit with you. We also have all these parts on our website at bcmarineproducts.com under Lawrence Ghost Parts. I appreciate everybody's time. Have a good day. <laughs>